if you're going to teach people you need an agreement that's technically it the thing is if you want an agreement or you cannot find any agreement feel free to download one you find the link in the description if you have question about it you can just go in the discord and in discord you can ask me question about it by creating a support ticket so let's talk about it for a moment so when you're teaching people it's important that you realize is that let's say this is your company or this is you as a freelancer and this is the person it can be a company can be whatever it's important that you have an agreement between you guys because when something goes wrong it's hard to be like okay this is your fault or this is your fault or we didn't agree upon this and when you look at the agreement the agreement that you will find if you press the link it how it has all the things that you need all the basic things that you need in order for you as a teacher to teach music production or the music the skills that you have that's technically it so how does it work you can let people sign online or you can let people sign it and let them send it to you that's technically it and the structure of the contact is really simple the name of parties the important part of the um, contract and who's signing the contract it's important that the person that signed the contract is a student if the person cannot sign because it's a minor you can ask the parents to sign for you because when something goes wrong the parents need to pay not the person keep that in mind so the payment if you want to talk about payment keep always in mind let them make a deposit 50 percent deposit and 50 percent when you go to the next class that's technically it so keep that in mind the reason i'm saying that is because sometimes you see people they teach and they expect to get pay and then later they will not get pay or they get lower pay and the problem is that you're waiting for your money and it can bring you it can be problematic that's technically what i'm trying to say so this is in a nutshell what you can do with the teaching agreement if you have a question about it it's better for you to ask me on discord because on discord i can see okay this is your problem or this is what you want to know can i help you or can i not help you if i cannot help you i will refer you to the right person so if you're new to this channel subscribe seriously subscribe right now like this video and I will talk to you in the next one.